वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स इन संजीवनी महाविद्यालय चापोली रन बाय नवयुवक शिक्षण प्रसारक मंडळ चापोली कॉलेज इज अफिलिएटेड टू स्वामी रामन तीर्थ मराठवाडा युनिव्हर्सिटी नांदेड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिजिक्स अगेन वेलकम्स टू यू दिस क्लास इज फॉर बी एस सी सेकंड इयर स्टुडंट्स आय मीन फिजिक्स स्टुडंट्स सेमिस्टर फोर पेपर नंबर नाईन बेसिक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स नवी शाल स्टडी अबाउट द अनदर टाईप ऑफ डायवर्ड दॅट इज फोटो डायवर्ड द सिम्बॉल ऑफ फोटो डायवर्ड इज सिमिलर टू लाईट एमिटिंग डायवर्ड what is the change what is the difference that we should know the symbol is like this it is also a semiconductor device commonly known as pin photodiode it consists of a pn junction and in case of a light emitting diode and uh, pin diode i mean photodiode the difference in symbol is what here these uh, rays are incident like this inward and in case of our light emitting diode these are arrows are what outside i mean light is emitting here that's why arrows are outside in led and in case of photo diode light is incident that's why arrows are what in inside we say as usual this electrode is anode this one is cathode this is the symbol of photo diode practically we see photo diode is like this again there is a question of how to identify anode and cathode it is written cathode it is written anode this is not sufficient when i to see this notch carefully you observe and the electrode which is near to the notch is said to be cathode and another one is said to be what anode otherwise longer one is anode and short one is what cathode clear but sometimes what happens while mounting on the pcb we cut these electrodes and then how to identify so in such a cases one has to observe carefully this notch and with by considering this position of notch and the electrodes we can easily identify which one is cathode and which one is anode see this is also what the symbol of what photo diode how to identify electrodes longer electrode is anode and shorter one is what cathode and one more term i have told you that we have to see the notch clear so what is the difference between symbol of led and symbol of photo diode the difference is what only in case of led light uh, these rays are shown outside the difference in the symbols of led and the photo diode is what it clear once more i'll revise in short in photo diode incident arrows are shown and in case of led outside i mean outward arrows are shown on the symbol so that easily you can identify the symbols of led and photo diode now let's turn to next slide actually what is photo diode a photo diode is a pn junction or pin semiconductor device that consumes light energy to generate electric current i mean with the help of light light is incident on it and electricity is produced in short light energy is consumed and uh, generated electricity or electric current photo diode is a special type of diode which convert light energy into current or voltage it means using photo diode one can convert one can obtain current and current or voltage it is also referred as photo detector 
photo sensor or light detector. It consists of a PN junction photodiode conducts in a reverse bias. Already we have seen in the previous classes that about biasing. What is parallel? What is reverse bias? Simple diode conducts in power bias. Photodiode conducts in reverse bias. This one has to remember. Photodiodes are specially designed to operate in reverse bias condition. It is very sensitive to light, so when light or photons falls on the photodiode, it easily converts light into electric current. Solar cell is also known as a large area photodiode because solar cells they function in the same way because it converts solar energy into what? light energy. Solar energy or light energy into what? Electric energy. Photodiode is going to function the same. However, solar, <coughs> solar cells works only at bright light. But photodiode, it is very sensitive for light. If dim light is also incident on it, it will generate current or voltage. So this is nothing but one of the advantages of photodiode. How it works? What about its working? The construction and working of photodiode is almost similar to the PN junction, I mean normal PN junction diode. It works similar to the function of the PN junction diode. Pin, I mean P type intrinsic and n type pin structure is mostly used for constructing the photodiode instead of pn junction structure because pin structure provides fast response time remember pin structure provide fast response time that's why Pin photodiodes are mostly used in high speed applications. What is the benefit of using photodiodes? Because they provide fast response time so that photodiodes are most used in high speed applications. Those applications which are uh, which require high speed so in such a case as photodiodes are utilized. So this is one of the best applications, advantages of photodiode. Circuit diagram is shown here, pin diode or we say photodiode. Here incident is shown, light is incident here. Clear? Whenever light is incident on it, these electrons and the holes which are in P type means holes and N type material means what? Electrons. These electrons and protons, they activate because of what? Incident photons. And because of the flow of rate, uh, rate flow of electrons through it, through the um, P type and N type of materials due to the incident photons. Here current will flow through this wire or circuit. So in this way, because of the incident photons, I mean light is incident on it, then it gives us current or voltage. Photodiode. Whenever electric field appliances cross across the PN junction, then the electrons and wall move, will move towards it and recombines in the depletion layer region. Light absorbed in the depletion region due to recombination of electrons and holes cause to generate electron hole pair which contribute the photo curve. Here it is shown also in figure also. They combine with each other and electric current is to be 
form photo current is obtained the photo current generated in photodiode is directly proportional to the absorbed light intensity current produced in the or generated in the photodiode is what is proportional to absorbed light intensity if light intensity intensity absorbed is more more photo current is generated in the intensity of photon or packet of lights packets of light absorption depends on the energy of photon that is lower the energy of photons the deeper the absorption this point is known energy of photons is lower deeper the absorption to make the external circuit flow through the circuit to make the external current flow through the circuit the two terminals of diodes are electrically connected before reaching the junction field if the created minority carriers of that region recombine with the bulk carriers of that region the carriers are lost and no external current flows through the total current passes through the photodiode is sum of photo current and the dark current which flows with or without light see here one more concept is coming that is dark current what is dark current that we see by minimizing the dark current the sensitivity of the device can be increased if dark current right project you remember if dark current is re reduced or minimized the sensitivity of the photodiode can be increased in order to increase the sensitivity of the photo for sensitivity of the photodiode one has to decrease or one has to minimize the dark current in case of photodiode the leakage current is called as what dark current what is dark current so you may ask what is dark current in whenever there is a leakage of current through photodiode that is said to be dark current the current the photodiode produces with no light hitting the diode what is dark current the current which is produced by photodiode whenever no light is incident on it such a current is said to be what dark current so one has to decrease or one has to minimize the dark current in order to what in order to improve or in order to uh, increase the sensitivity of the device so in short you remember sensitivity of sensitivity of the device is increased by decreasing or by minimizing the dark current and what is dark current the current i mean leakage current through the photodiode whenever there is no light is incident on it such a current is said to be what dark current the dark current is both temperature dependent and voltage dependent dark current depends upon what temperature as well as the voltage increasing temperature or increasing the reverse bias increases the dark current remember increasing temperature or increasing reverse current or reverse bias voltage the dark current will increase so in order to reduce the dark current one should not increase the temperature one should not increase the voltage i mean reverse bias so this is the point so after this we shall discuss the remaining matter in next lecture if the dark current is minimized sensitivity of the photodiode increases this we have already seen so the dark current serves as a basic current that cannot be avoided the remaining matter we shall discuss about photodiode in next lecture